Yo yo yo, uh, Carbon here, and today I'm just going to be kind of throwing out here a tier list for Travian as of patch 4.6. Uh, some of the most notable changes of recent have been uh, a buff to goals. Uh, goals had uh, TT uh, buffs and nursed Egyptians, where they've had kind of Ash Warden nerfs and also um, nerfs to their stone wall. So I think. You know, uh, a lot of people are asking, what are the better tribes? Is five tribes a big difference to those of three tribes? Um, I mean, short answer to that is yes. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping after this uh, video, you have a more informed choice of do you want to play, you know, Egyptian? Do you want to play Hun? Uh, do you stick to the three tribe servers and how you play those and navigate those? Um, you know, something that I guess the Travian Discord put out the other day was that things aren't entirely clear uh, in terms of you know how to get the best start out of the game now at least understanding the tribes can maybe you know help you uh, on your Travian server so yeah just gonna start off um, you know I, I split everything into categories of attack, defense, raiding, growth, difficulty and then my own personal tier of where I believe they are right now and how far away they are from the other tribes so yeah let's uh let's kind of start with attack anyways so I mean here we've got the attacking list um, you know if we're looking at this on five tribes which uh, across you know this is an instance we are um, Han is by far um, the most impressive I mean the, the real reason for this is they're very versatile um, so a lot of their attacking troops also have great defensive values um, they have speed on their side with uh, the step rider so the really benefit to that is with the hun hero where you also get uh, mounted cavalry speed uh, bonus uh, your uh, ability to travel across the map especially when you're looking at ghost other enemies is uh, really really advantageous for you know the hun tribe I mean they're head and shoulders above the other so like when you, especially if you're comparing Hun against Gaul I mean you've got multiple factors that you can have for Hun I mean if you really want to you can go down the marksman route I prefer not to do this they're, they're a bit too expensive and uh, they have a slightly longer training time in, in the stable uh, but I mean you've got versatility where you don't have that with you know the Gaul tribe so that's why they're way ahead of that so next one's obviously Teutons and I mean Teutons is quite a, at least a very simple one of you know where to place here. The reason why they fall behind Gaul, uh, but behind Hun, is you know uh, down to the fact being that they don't have uh, as much. I mean, you you go clubs. You don't you don't go axemen. I can't imagine a server where you ever go axemen. So you go clubs and you have to go Teutonic knights and that's it. Whereas you know, Hun, you have the Steppies, you have the Marauders. In some cases, you do have the uh, mercenaries. Uh, you never, like, I at least I don't ever build bowmen because you've got the versatility of mercenary. So yeah, I mean, at least two tons are really, really great with that. And I mean, especially on multi-tribe servers where you can, you know, still build a brewery even if you are hun. I mean, that's a really impressive thing about two tons is that extra twenty percent bonus that you can get for your, you know, attacking troops. After that, Gauls, yeah, they're not really that impressive uh, for attacking. Of course, they've had buffs over recent, but I mean, you're not going to pick Gauls because you enjoy attacking, really. After that is Roman. Now, I mean, I, I personally don't think they're very good for attacking at all, Romans. You see a lot of, you know, uh, WWKs that are very, you know, impressive as Roman, but I mean, all in all, Apart from EI's ability of you know speed and carry capacity in attack, it's very expensive to be rolled. Especially if you're doing operations and you're having a fake opponent, you know it's going to cost you a lot of resources. And finally, Egyptian. I I don't want to even talk about this one. <laughs> just don't build Egyptian defensive units. Like just don't. It's it's unfortunate for you. If you play Egyptians, please just don't do it. <laughs> So yeah, going on to defense, um, where we can, you know, we can now come back to Egyptians of how how impressive they are. So not only do they boast a, a very great wall that is sturdy, uh, so it has good durability and also great defensive values, but they also have the best units for defense. And I mean, 
Ash Wardens, even with the nerf, still very, very impressive. If you, you know, you're in conflict and you're going to go for a lot of defensive units, slaves also very, very impressive. But be sure to like, you only really build slaves if they're going to die very quickly. If you're going to hold on to them the whole server, probably not best to build them. You've also got AG that are, you know, very, very fast defensive units. You know, they're similar to Druids for the Gauls. But like once again, very very fast, very very um, great defensive values, and RC once again they're like the power horse, you know. Like uh, once once you get a few of those going, your your villagers are a lot safer. Put it that way. And then Hun, controversial, but I think Hun are probably one of the best defensive tribes on uh, the game right now. I mean, you've got mercenaries. If you look at defensive stats over time, mercenaries are you know only second to slaves. You've got marksmen, which although they've had the nerf on, you know, carry capacities and everything like that, but I mean they're still really, really impressive units. You know? So the only thing that's downside to Hun is their uh, their wall. I mean, in, in a lot of instances, you could probably get away with build building uh, a wall, but if you are on a Turkish server, build the wall. They don't build around things. Uh, so yeah, Gaul. I mean, Fowls are very, very uh, important in, in Travian. Very, very great units. And also Druids. Druids are insanely fast and uh, high high defensive values against infantry. So if you're, you're playing on a server where a lot of people have got uh, clubs, for example, from uh, two on tribe, they're going to come in handy very, very well. Fourth place, I have awarded it to Teuton instead of Roman. And I mean, the main reason for this being is speed i mean spearmen are you know one of the best defensive units on the game if not probably the best um because there's very minimal things out there to deal with horses from an infantry standpoint yes you can use legionnaires from a roman but one the cost two the training time and three the speed they're not like roman units are very very slow it's great for stationary death but you know for defense calls you know spears beat them hands down so and that leads me to obviously Romans with their ranking. They have Praetorians, very slow but great defensive value units, especially when it comes to you know defensive values via crop or resources. And uh, yeah, it's just a, a kind of avoid them. They're, they're they're too expensive. They take too long, and uh, someone can always have more troops than you if you you know opt to play Romans and you know try and build an army from them, whether it's defensive or you know offensive. So next category is raiding. Once again, my boys, Huns, right up there at the top. I mean, how can you compete with the, you know, Step Raider? It's it's a great unit in the game. Carry capacity 75 resources. It used to be high. I'm pretty sure it used to be like 110 at one point. Like it's just a brilliant unit. Um, so yeah, it, it is, you know, head and shoulders above the rest, especially when now that they've brought Oasis farming into the game. Now, a lot of the things that you're, a lot of the oasis you're going to be clearing is uh, vulnerable to cavalry, so it just makes things even sweeter for Huns. And you know, obviously, next point is going to be uh, Teutons. I mean, it's just volume that you get with them with club swingers. I mean, you really get them just, uh, you know, you get the ten thousand uh, outgoing warning pop up very quickly. Every Teuton player, as opposed to Hun, but it's all about volume keeping them flowing um, and I mean yeah it's also a cheap unit to kill as well if, if you are clearing stuff so by all means Teuton's up there in second. Now probably pre-buffs I could have awarded this spot to Romans for EIs but the TT buff it, it's bringing you know all back into the middle of the uh, middle of the pack here. I mean the TT buff really really nice for them um, and I think it edges EIs just because of training times. Other than that though, I mean yeah, you've got Romans, you know, slightly behind it, but not not far away. And then once again Egyptians in last place. I mean I've seen top ten uh Egyptian only raiders uh with AGs. So you can do it. I mean it's just not really recommended because if you do get spiked, it's gonna be costing you a lot of resources to pay for those. And growth. Uh, so obviously there's the highest climbers uh, award that you get at the end of the week for growth. Uh, you know, how easy is it to grow your empire? 
Egyptians very very easy. They have the resource bonus as, as a hero. I mean this is substantial earlier on. So you know great kind of uh, hero bonus you have. You have the waterworks that also is very uh, a big advantage for you. That allows you to get more out of your oasis. So yeah Egypt there top of the list. I'd given the next one a Roman purely because you can build three things at once. So if you if you don't play very often, you can set three things away, which is obviously great for you. If you do play very often, you have gold. You can obviously gold three things at once instead of two, so it's like saving you money as well. But yeah, Roman in second place. On, I've put third, and the only reason I've kind of done this is because in terms of everything that you want to do on the game, by the time you take into account some attack, defense, raiding, um, their units are also very, very cheap. So with their units being very cheap, You've got more money to spend on infrastructure. So you're building books, you're building steppies, you're raiding, but your units are also very cheap. So yeah, that's the reason why I put them there. Two tons in fourth place, once again taking things into account, their units are cheap, they can raid, you know, they've got good attack and defensive values. So, you know, the rest of the allocation of your budget can go on grow. And then goals in last place. Fowls are pretty cheap, but like on the grand scheme of things against, you know, whether it's Egyptian, whether it's Han, not really. Um, so yeah, the only thing I would say is that, you know, their units are a bit more expensive. Uh, and by the time, because they don't, they're not a master of attack, defense or raiding. So it's like you're in the middle of the park there, that's the only reason why I would put them probably last. And then finally difficulty. Now, I'm going to mention difficulty just because... You know, you, you see these stats at the start of the game. Uh, what do they really mean? And like, goals are easiest to play? Probably not. Um, I mean, Egyptian is by far easiest tribe to play. And the reason why I say that is if you're new to the game and you're going to be attacked, you build that wall, uh, have a couple of defensive units in there, that's an instant deterrent for any kind of, you know, bigger player to be like, what's the point of clearing this? Has he got lots of resources there? Is he very inactive? That might be you know the decision that that player makes but I mean if you have a wall and defensive units like no one should really bother you unless you pose an instant threat to them. Uh, two tones I've put ahead of Hun and uh, the main reason for this being that you do have spearmen. Uh, but you have clubs that are obviously very prone to being attacked by horse. Spearmen is a counteract to this so at least you've got some way to keep yourself protected if you're a, a newer player and you're not always on you can protect your spearmen uh your clubs very well with spearmen so second place for the, them plus your wall is very durable you've got a durable wall fair enough it doesn't provide the best defensive values but you know someone's going to need, need a lot of rounds to kind of bring that down third place hun reason why the difficulty is quite a bit higher is because if you are caught offline it can be very unforgiven you don't have a great defensive uh value within your wall and you know if your steppies are caught behind the only thing protecting it really is mercenaries if it's your own defensive unit so yeah that's why i'm third place and then yeah goal it's kind of it's it, it's a tricky spot with goal you know it's it's not i don't think it's a hard tribe but i don't think it's an easy tribe for anyone just to pick up you, know, you can build defensive units that's an instant deterrent so does that make it easier not really but I mean it will work you know some people won't attack you if they see a lot of files in your village and then finally roman just you know, don't touch this tribe i mean it's it's really not in a good spot right now um it hasn't been for a while the only way i can think of like romans are very useful is like for scouts that's about it so yeah probably best to avoid this tribe and then yeah kind of like a tier list so <laughs> The way I've kind of done this is taking into account attack, defense, and all the other metrics that we have here, and kind of positioning them in terms of, okay, we've got, you know, S plus to A plus, obviously there's kind of S, S minus in there, and that's how far they are away from the other rank. So we've got Egypt and Han, S plus, so if you get five tribes, please guys, just select these tribes, they're the best tribes in the game right now, in, you know, two respective areas, you've got one a bit easier than the other, uh, one very good at attacking, one very great at defending, one very good at raiding, one not so good at raiding but great at like uh, growth 
within the city so yeah please take that into account we've got two dons in the middle of the pack here not too far away from them but still quite a bit away from them um in terms of you know what they can offer versus the two ton you will need uh i guess for wonder of the world servers you will need two tons for ramps uh, you know if you're going to be activating your brewery to get some extra bonus damage so by all means they are needed within the game whereas you know goals and, and romans not really needed as much so that's why there's quite a big discrepancy between a plus and b minus uh goals quite a bit away there from two tons and then once again romans even further away from that so yeah i hope you've enjoyed the video i hope it gives you some sort of insight at least from at least my perspective i've asked also kind of respective you know subject matter experts i, I you know i play a lot of hun i play egypt don't play as much Teuton, barely ever play Gaul and Roman, so I've asked them, uh, people in the Discord, what they think of those tribes, and yeah, that's helped assist judgement as well, so yeah guys, uh, anyways, call the video there, and if you do have any questions, just yeah, drop them in the comments below, but yeah, thank you very much.